Hi guys, Mr. Jonah here. In this video I'm gonna quick, try to quickly show you what I did to my last project that being the horrific switch mode power supply. Now it's not that horrific actually, it's quite good. So first I'm gonna show you the schematic again and I'm gonna show, tell what parts I've changed a little bit. Okay, I had a question actually in the previous video about the leakage inductance and I'm aware that I should split the primary to decrease it but you know I did that circuit as an experiment I couldn't be bothered doing it properly so I did not and uh, before rewinding the transformer I took a measurement and leakage inductance um, came out as 1.1 millihenries nice and after I split uh, the primary, it's uh, it dropped to 750 microhenries. Not that much of a change. I expected it to be mm, bigger change, but oh well, that's better. Anyway, this will make snapper run cooler, so that's good. <coughs> Another change I made that. When after I redone the transformer, the circuit started consuming 1.2 watts on idle and not one. So I went and uh, uh, changed this 330 ohm resistor to a 470 ohm resistor. And I also put a 47 ohm in parallel to this 10 ohm resistor, thus getting 8.2 ohms. Uh, as you can see, because I've tried to increase the power output current limit, so I can scavenge more power. And here you can see that 8.2 ohms is okay, 5 ohms equals BAM. Like David Freiburg likes to say, BAM! Because 5 ohms, if I load it up with some incandescent bulbs and I turn it on, the surge from the surge of current on the output, because cold incandescent bulb is essentially a short circuit. The cold filament is has very small resistance. Much higher high surge just kills the transistor. Why? I don't know. 5 ohms is not that low of a value. This effectively will act as a current source, as a linear current source, and it should keep itself from destruction, but it did not. Anyway. Okay. Now let's show you the actual circuit. The actual circuit is this board, as you can see, which I've made to fit into this uh, enclosure that I scavenged from an old, uh, not an old, cheap Chinese charger for lithium-ion batteries. I have a nice LED torch and uh, it is a quite a nice torch, yet I hated this charger because it's a just a, it's a constant voltage charger. It's not even proper constant current one. Uh, it just had a resistor inside which limited the initial current and uh, the output was actually 4.4 volts. So not only I overcharged the batteries when I used this device, I also plated them a lot because Lithium-ion batteries should not be kept on a charger after they charged. If the charge current dropped to one tenth of our initial charging current, terminate the charge and uh, don't charge them anymore. Okay, so that's the beast. Let me show you. It's not that horrific anymore. I put a little bit of heat shrink over the capacitor because the thing has to be cramped pretty tight, so I need to keep clearances. Here you can see the snubber. I subject oh crap. I subjected the 2.2 nanofarad resistor here to 5 560 picofarads and it's working fine. The capacitor actually doesn't really make a whole lot of a difference. The resistor does. 
capacitor just uh, or has to be large enough and that large enough is like few tenths of picofarad so half a nanofarad works fine also you can see an LED here which is not just an indicator it is a part of a feedback system because here I had just a single Zener diode 8.2 volts now I have a 6 volt Zener diode and a yellow LED in series with that Zener you can see a positive output goes through the LED goes into this Zener into the optocoupler optocoupler's LED which adds one more volt to the change to the chain chain so that's about 1.9 here, 6 volts here, 1 volt there. Okay, comes out as uh, 9 volts, nice. I actually did quite lay down this board quite nice. It may look horrific, but in reg with regards to for safety, it has nice isolation, quite a decent one. Here you can see, I can actually show you here. This board is so thin that I can show you here. You can see the isolation is quite good, 6 millimeters minimum. Pretty hefty isolation, I should say. I did not use class Y capacitor noise suppression cap because it didn't make a whole lot of a difference and I like to omit components that doesn't make a difference <laughs> the snubber does make a difference so that's why I kept it yeah that's about it let me show you it in action oh you know what I'm gonna actually put it together install it in the case and show you it running then Okay, the scene is installed. Let's plug it in. Let's bring the wattmeter into play. Come on! Alright, that will do. Focus. Good. You can see LED glowing and now 1.1 watts. Eh, whatever. As I mentioned, I did not plan to make it energy star compliant. One thing I like about it is it actually it's not that noisy as my previous um, simple switch mode power supply. And uh, I can also short it out. You can see the consumption is about under three watts. LED went out, of course, because current limit is going but I can still power some lights by the way you can actually remember I mentioned about the search of a cold filament watch the LED and the bulb All right. look at the LED there I'm gonna connect it see it dimmed for a second it went out a little bit that because the lamp was cold and the filament drew too much current that the uh, current limit kicked in instead of a voltage prote voltage uh, regulation it kicked in into current regulation current limit anyway here since I have more bulbs this effect is much more clear you can definitely see how it dims for a, for a split second there all right so that's that guys now it's working and working good and as you probably saw previously it actually on this transformer well, I also had a question what I used what I used to isolate the transformer for, for the insulation and the answer is 
whatever happens to be around here I wanted to do this properly and I went and used Captain Tape here as you can see this yellowish stuff and I put six layers of it uh, between me and mains so that was primary six layer half a primary excuse me six layers of Captain Tape secondary six layers of Captain Tape feedback winding two layers of Captain Tape and then uh, another half of the primary and then two layers of Captain Tape just for the looks okay so that's that if you have any questions leave them in the comments below thanks for watching see you